Hello students, first of all I would like to congress each and everyone for achieving a significant milestone receiving the call for the interview phase. As you prepare to face the interview panel, remember that you have already proven your metal. This interview is an opportunity to express or show the depth of your understanding, your passion for public services and the unique quality that set you apart. Remember, this is not just a test, it is a chance for you to enhance your knowledge and strengthen your skills. Now I am going to share three things keep in mind. First, approach this mock interview with a positive mindset. Take each question as an opportunity and make it a goal to answer every single question. Even if a question seems challenging, take a moment to think about it. Second, pay close attention to the question as it allows you to understand the essence of each question. Make notes if necessary and use the information provided by me to craft a well-structured and comprehensive answer. And the third, try to relate your answer to broader concepts within the subject. This not only reflect your depth of knowledge but also shows your ability to make connection and see the things in bigger picture. And in last, when questions come in front of you, simply pause the video, try to answer yourself and then match your answer with my answer. In that way, your confidence boosts up gradually. What is the function of ATP in the cells? You have to answer in that way, sir. ATP is the primary energy currency of the cells. It provides energy for cellular process, such as muscle contraction, protein synthesis, and all biochemical activity that takes place inside the cells or, or, or the organism. Take the next question. What is the central dogma of molecular biology? You can say in that way. So the central dogma of molecular biology states that the DNA is transcribed into RNA, which is translated into protein. Take the next question. What is the function of carbohydrate in the cells? You can say, sir, carbohydrates are important source of energy for the cells. They can also serve as a structural component of the cell's membrane and other, other cellular structures as well as carbohydrate is the instant source of energy. What is the difference between passive and active transport? Simply saying that we accept passive transport is the movement of substance across the cell membrane without the input of energy while in active transport energy is expanded. Take the next question. What is the difference between a food chain and a food web? You can see the food chain is a linear sequence of organism, each of which is food source for the next. Or a food web is a more complex network of interconnected food chain that shows the relationship between multiple species in an, an ecosystem. What is the role of producer in an ecosystem? If the board asks this question again, so you should answer in that way, sir, producers such as plants or alga convert sunlight and nutrients into organic matter through photosynthesis. They form the base of the food chain and provides energy for all other organisms in the ecosystem. How does the formation of germ layer during embryonic development relate to the eventual formation of a specific organ and tissues. First, try to answer yourself. So for that, you have to pause the video. Try to answer yourself. And after that, listen my answer. You have to answer in that way. Okay, sir, three germ layers such as the ectoderm, mesoderm and, in and endoderm give rise to a specific organ and tissues through a process called differentiation and the cell in each germ layer is specialized into different type of cells and forms the structure and tissue of the body. So first understand what they actually asked. Once you have to ask, 
सो फॉर दैट इफ़ यू नीड टेन सेकेंड और फिफ्टीन सेकेंड यू हैव टू टेक दैट टाइम एंड देन स्टार्ट आंसरिंग टेक द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ आर एडेप्टन इन स्पीसीज रिलेटेड टू नेचुरल सेलेक्शन आंसर इन दैट वे सर एडेप्टन आर ट्रेड्स और बिहेवियर दैट इनक्रीज द फिटनेस ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिजम इन इट्स इन्वायरमेंट नेचुरल सेलेक्शन एक्ट्स on these adaptations by favoring individuals with advantage traits allowing them to survive and reproduce more successfully than those without these traits so in that way you have to give a concise answer need not to elaborate your answer take the another questions how are enzyme and substrate interdependent you have to pause answer yourself then listen my answer sir and do the answer in that way sir enzyme are protein that catalyzes biochemical reactions and substrate are the molecule that are acted upon by enzyme enzyme and substrate are interdependent as the shape of the enzyme determines which substrate can bind and be acted upon so take the next question how do changes in the environment affect the behavior and distribution of animal population listen the answer you have to answer in that way such change in change in the environment such as the availability of food water or habitat can influence the behavior and distribution of animal population animal may migrate change their feeding habitat or alter their social behavior in response to environmental changes take the next question how do instinct and learned behavior interact in the behavior of animals so what you are uh, 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 observing here frequently board changes the topic and that's why it is a most difficult session because of the continuous changing topic if they so how one overcome from that kind of situation so for that you have to watch the next video okay in that i have uh, properly this about what clues you have to give the board and trap the board in your net to watch all the videos on of zoology uploaded on the uh, on this channel and also watch my gs video we have already uploaded on our channel in gs interview section to so go in the playlist was all the animals answer in that way sir instinct are innate behavior that are genetically programmed while well, learned behavior are acquired through experiences the interaction between instinct and learned behavior can result in complex behaviors that are critical to an animal survival and reproductive success so guys this is the first session this is a, a basic session so now you must watch the video another video and uh, do write your precise comments so that we should take corrective measures on that and uh, how much do you like the video everything write in the comment box of video and what are your next suggestion do also write that so that we establish two way communication and uh, definitely it will uh encourage us and you too thank you to subscribe and share so you will get early information and if you have any question please do write in the comment box of the video approach this mock interview with a positive mindset take its questions as an opportunity and make it a goal to answer every single questions even if a question seems challenging take a moment to think about it stay calm and composed throughout the interview if you come across a challenging question take a deep breath and approach it methodically your ability to stay calm under pressure is valuable skills that the interviewer are likely observing note down where you feel you need improvement it in a point topic wise and practice or revise after the session remember this is your chance not only test your knowledge but also to refine your interview skills 
approach it with confidence enthusiasm and don't forget to watch another video